guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I have a DIY for you. Um, I've been wanting to make me some tall candle holders and I thought you might enjoy this. So if you wanna make this project, this is what you'll need. I went to Lowe's and I bought two 14 inch traditional table legs, just like this. So you'll need two of them. And I believe they were like $4 and something. And then I bought one six inch traditional table leg and it was three something. And then I picked up four of these little terracotta things that you can put your um, plants in. I picked up four of these and they are six inches long, six inches wide, okay? And then um, you're gonna need some pliers and then you're gonna need some paint. And I don't know which kind I'm going to be using. Um, so I have the me metallic antique gold I've used it many times. I have the coffee latte that I love, and I have the chocolate brown metallic, and the royal gold metallic from Folk Art, and then I have Apple Barrel Warm Buff. I've used it several times, and Territorial Beige. And then I have this Acapulco that I used not long ago. And then the Tropical Foliage. So I don't know what colors I'm gonna be using. Um, you'll need a glue gun. And for this, you'll definitely need to use some Fix-All Adhesive or E6000, whichever you want. But for time purposes, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, and then you're gonna need a well-loved brush and probably some foam brushes maybe a sponge and other than that that is it so let me tilt this down and we'll get started this is going to be such a beautiful diy and it's going to give us such a nice look okay what i'm going to do is start painting this first okay i'm going to take two and turn them upside down and I took the sticker off and it's still kind of tacky, so I don't know. You could probably clean that off with glue be gone or something, but I'm gonna try to go right over it. And then I'm gonna take two and leave them upright and paint them, okay? So I think I'm gonna start off with, I think I'm gonna put this warm buff all over. And get my little foam brush here and just start painting this. I mean, this is gonna be so quick and so easy, but it's gonna give us a really nice look. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna paint on these two, the inside and right down here, just not the very bottom, and then I'll be back. Okay, I have them painted. And you can see this is how they turned out. I think they're gorgeous. They're gonna be beautiful. I have those two, and then I have these two up like this. And this dries pretty quickly. So that's another reason why I love to use that kind of paint. Just gonna move these right here. And now we'll start on this. We're gonna start painting this. I'm gonna tilt this up just a little bit. My camera fell off twice. All right, so what we're gonna do is just take that same color paint and we're just gonna put it out and just paint this because I want it to have this as its base. And this foam brush is working nicely. I'm not having any problems with it at all. And it gets right down in between these crevices, which I really like. And I just want this to be my base coat and try not to get any runs or anything like that. Kind of blend it all out. And I'll show you what this part looks like. And then I'm gonna go off camera and finish all this. But this is such an easy project, but it's gonna give us such a custom, gorgeous look. And you can paint it to match your decor, whatever you want. Okay, so that's what we're getting so far and I'm loving it, all right? So I'll be back as soon as I get the others painted. 
Okay, right here is what we have, and I think they're really pretty. Um, in person, they have a, a prettier color. It's kind of hard to see. So what I'm gonna start doing now is working on these bottoms while the rest of that dries really well. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do is kind of just dry brush. You need a very well-loved brush. Um, and I'm just gonna start layering different colors. And I, like I said, I'm really not sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna start with this coffee latte. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. But to do this, you just wanna dab um, your brush right in here and then just kind of kind of just like that dab the excess off because you don't want to get too much on it because that would definitely overpower so what we're going to do is just start dragging this just very haphazardly wherever we want to try to pick up some color you don't want to take all your color that you've just put on there away, but you definitely want to give it like some flair. And then we're just going to keep layering different colors wherever we might want them. And if you think you got it a little too heavy, take the side of your brush where it doesn't have anything on and just gently wipe it and it will, it'll tone it down a lot. Okay, then we'll pick up a little bit more, get it off, because this stuff is very, um, has a lot of collar, that's what I'm trying to say, okay? And then we're just gonna sweep it across again. And they may not match exactly because they're handmade and that's fine with me, I don't care. And you could always turn it upside down like this to get it and just kind of brush in like a circular motion. Because this paint does dry pretty quickly. So we'll go back over to this one and kind of just do the same thing. Kind of go around. Get a little bit more because this doesn't have much on the inside this is basically just about putting in what you like and as much of it as that you like but i just want these to look old Okay, I think that's looking nice so far. All right, now what color? So I've done this next. Um, we might go in with some territorial bay. Just put a little bit of it in there. Do the same principle, just dab. We're basically just layering. that's really going to make because it's a lot like the coffee latte just a little less I guess you'd say so I think I'm going to go to something else besides that let's try well I think what I'll do right now is I'm going to go to my other two and get them going and I'm going to do the same thing and for time purposes, I'll come back when these two are finished and then we'll go to our candlesticks and then we'll see what else we wanna add. Okay, here's the bases. And I just basically put the um, coffee latte and just a little bit of that territorial beige and I'm loving how that looks. As a matter of fact, I may do everything in these colors. I don't know if I'm gonna add anything else because I love the old look but the elegance that that's giving 
And then I just went on the inside of this and did the same thing. They just look gorgeous, I think. I love them, okay? So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have to put out a little bit more of my coffee latte. And we're gonna do the same principle and just blot this off a lot because we don't want it real harsh because that ruins it. And have a light hand and we're just going to brush up and down. And the high places will naturally um, take this And you can see that's what we're getting. I think these are going to be gorgeous. And like I said, you could add any colors that you wanted that matches your decor. And I'm just brushing over this. And I don't have a lot of paint on my paintbrush because like I said, I can always put more on, but I can't get it off once I do too much. And just get it till it has the effect that you like. And if you want a little bit more in some places, so it'll look really old, then just hit it a little bit more. I think sometimes that adds a lot of flair to it, but this is what we're getting. I just love it. I think it's beautiful. Maybe it just needs more paint like that. This is so easy to do though. And it gives you such a look. I think I'm liking the coffee latte a little heavier in spots. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this, and I think it needs more coffee latte because to me, this has much more character. I really do love it. Let's go get, get a little bit up under there. Okay. So this is what we have so far, and I think that's really looking pretty. But I think I may want to add, oh, that is gonna be pretty though. I may like it just like that. I don't know, I'll be back, I have to think. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm gonna use just a little bit of this metallic chocolate brown, just a little bit, okay? And just dab into that, and let's see. I do like the warmth that this is adding, so I do like that. So I think I'm definitely going to add, but it's such a small amount of this. But it adds a little bit of warmth to this. Okay, and then we're gonna put just a little bit of this and a very small amount, because I love how this bottom is turning out on this bottom. Put a lot of glue on the bottom of this candlestick holder. And then we're gonna to try to get this in the center. Now you're gonna to wanna to use E6000 because you don't want things falling off of your candlestick holder your candles and breaking, okay? And then we're gonna push that down, okay? And this is what we're getting so far. I love it, it is so beautiful. Okay, now this top, these tops aren't perfect. So you wanna kinda of twist it around to where you put it up there, it's not gonna to be too, you know, lopsided or anything. Same principle, I'm gonna put a lot of hot glue. You would put E6000, and if you wanna put some hot glue on here to hold it, you could until that dries. I just don't want to do that right now. 
Okay, then you're going to try your best to line this back up like you had it to where it doesn't look crooked and press. And then I want to get any glue that falls down because I don't want it seen. take this and set it on top. This is going to be gorgeous. Okay, let me lift this up so you can see. I'm having problems with my tripod today. Now, we're going to put a lot of glue and make sure that you take this little tag off because otherwise the glue will adhere to the tag and not this. Okay? So you want to put a generous amount of glue right here and really right up here because that's where you want it to glue. And then as best you can, because this is tall, try to get it in the center. And level and then press down. This is gorgeous. If you would see this out, you would pay a ton of money for that. I love it. Okay, same principle with this, only this one's shorter. Now, I will tell you when I bought these, these had um, like a screw or something up in there, and all you do is take these pliers put it right around that screw, and I was able to just hold this firm and turn this, it came right out. No problem, really simple, okay? So what we're gonna do again is put our glue on here, but you could paint these any color that you wanted. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I may do another set for my bathroom because I love them, and I will put them probably a different color. Okay, then try your best to get this in the center. Always makes your heart kind of go, whoo, because you're not sure. And then clean up your glue. Okay. And that is this one. I'm telling you, these are so pretty, so easy to make. Ugh, love them. But they look so elegant, so expensive. And then just put you a bunch of glue up here. And then, try your best to get this in what you think is the center. I love it. Okay, here they are. I love them. Let me try to bring it up closer to you. You can see it. they're gorgeous. I just love how they look. Oh, they're beautiful. They're so pretty. They're just gorgeous. And you could make three of these if you wanted to. I only wanted to make two. So what I'm gonna do is take these and put them in there in my, uh, probably my entryway, and I'll let you see what they look like, but I'm really excited about them. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, here they are on my um, entryway table, and I love them. You would never know that those were table legs and little terracotta things. You just would never know. I love them, they're so customizable. If you would see that at Kirkland's, Hobby Lobby's, anywhere, Michael's, you would pay a lot of money for it. I absolutely love how they turned out. And like I said, they're very customizable. They're just gorgeous. I love them. So if you enjoyed this video, please give them a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.